Hi, I'm Robin Ford uh, for Guitarist Magazine, and uh, I'm going to show you a few things about um, what are, are, can be viewed in two different ways. Um, the uh, first two chords of a, of a blues, which would be, for instance, G and C. And uh, so G7, right, if we were playing a blues in G. Next chord, right? Okay, I'm going to focus on uh, the use of those two chords and how to get from this one to that one. Um, I'll show you a couple of uh, ways to do it chordally, and I'll show you a, a, a couple of ways to do it um, using the uh, diminished scale, which uh, seems to loom large in my legend the uh, half-step, whole-step scale, or uh, the diminished scale, also known as the double diminished scale, because there are two diminished arpeggios in it. So, um, uh, first of all, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the scale briefly, and, um, and then I'm going to show you something I think is very cool that, that will help you um, both chordally and scalarly so the half step whole step scale it's just a series of half half steps and whole steps right half step whole step half step so if we started here so i would really recommend getting that under your fingers okay this way there's a tendency uh, you know to play it Right? It's kind of this way. Thumb behind the neck. Now if you play the first four steps of that scale and then go to C, right? You've just exercised the diminished scale getting from G to C. So now a 13 chord. This is the way I initially learned how to play it. I learned it out of the Mickey Baker book, Volume 1. So this is G7. With the 13th degree played here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's G13 right there. And it's being played. I'm using my fingers so that we don't hit that A, right? You can't do that if you're going to play this voicing. So I play this way. So my thumb is dampening the A string. A lot of people aren't comfortable with their thumb back there like that, and especially with chords like this, because, you know, that's a, that's a handful right there. That's a handful of chords right there. So that's why I kind of have a tendency to demonstrate this thing I'm going to show you here using my fingers. Once again, you should push yourself to do that. If you don't use your fingers, start using your fingers. Just start doing it. You know, you don't have to spend all day doing it. Do it for... 10 minutes, do it for five minutes, you know, and try something. So. Now that's a really nice little way to get from G to C, right? And that's using the half step, whole step scale. play this and you should also not be afraid to just play the scale the scale is a musical thing whether it's the diminished scale or the minor scale you know the half step uh, excuse me the half diminished straight major scale it's a musical thing whenever you play anything it's a musical thing it's not a thing that's going to allow you to play music you are going to play music you know you, you're playing music no matter what you're doing you know now if you notice in a blues, your, your third chord is going to be D, right? 
All of these are seventh chords. Right? So they can all be treated the same way. When you play this scale to C, the diminished scale, when you get to the C chord, is a little bit... You know, if you, if you use that there, it's going to take you to F. It, it's always going up a fourth. G to C, C would go to F. So the thing is, on this D chord, when you finish out the blues, your, your last chord, you know, you can use it on the five chord exactly the same way. The C chord is just a little bit dicier. It can be done, but don't do it. Just don't think of the C chord as having the same function as the G7 and the D7. The G7 is going up a fourth to C, and that's why it works. It's, you know, it's, it's one to four, but that's also, in the case uh, of D in a blues, it's up a fourth takes you home to G. Right? So D is actually the five chord for G. G is the five chord for C. Now I know that might be kind of hard to wrap your mind around, but uh, it's kind of a difficult, difficult thing to explain, but if you listen to it, you will hear it. <laughs> right? Uh, I just changed keys, right? You just, now you're, you've just moved to F. But if you do it in the key of D, it takes you home to G. So whatever you can do on that G chord in the blues, you can do on a D chord in the blues. All the same things. The C chord, not so much. The C chord, you want to stay pretty traditional. C chord, G pentatonic, play it right through all of that. But when you get to that D chord, you can use that diminished thing the same way you did going from G to C. So this diminished thing, Again, there's so much, there's a, there's a wealth of things that you can do with it. Now, anything that you do with a diminished scale, you can do in minor thirds, up or back down. You, know, you can start here. have this one little leg. You can play it there. So you get this hip little thing. play that diminished riff again I'm just on the five chord of a blues you know like you finished out the blues that's the half diminished half whole tone so I really encourage that diminished scale thing man it's been like my I've devoted a lot of my uh, attention to the diminished scale. And I did so because I heard it in Miles Davis's music and Miles has just been a huge hero to me. And um, you, can, you can play that diminished scale uh, even as just a static chord jam, you know? <laughs> reason 
why I like it so much. Generally, uh, you, uh, we think of altered scales, which this is, we, we think of it as 5-1. If you play G to C, that's five chord to, you know, to the one chord in the key of C. That's why it works. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed the lesson and uh, that you've learned something from it. Thank you very much.